We would like to welcome you today to the Maranatha Minute, where we take one minute of your day to give you an encouraging word from the Word of God. Well, good Wednesday morning, everyone. We pray that you're having another great day today. We're going to go right back to 1 Peter chapter number 3, and verse number 15 says, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. On Monday and Tuesday, we looked at being able. Are you able to give an answer? And then yesterday, we looked at the thought of being willing to give an answer. And today, I want to look at this simple thought. How can we be able and willing? Often, we tell you we should be able, we should be willing, but we don't give you the how. But I believe the verse answers it in the very first part of the verse. He says this, but sanctify the Lord God in your heart. Sanctify means to set apart. And we need to set apart the Lord in our hearts. You say, well, I'm saved. Is that not good enough? No, I'm afraid it's not. If we're really going to be able and willing to give an answer, we're going to have to set ourselves apart, set our hearts apart, and focus on who the Bible tells us, but sanctify the Lord God in your heart. I'm afraid we put too many other things in our heart in our day and time. Why don't you set your heart apart for the Lord Jesus Christ? And that's how you'll be able, and that's how you'll be willing to tell others what Peter was saying here. Be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Will you set your heart apart and let God do a work in it that no man can do? I know it'll help you and it'll honor our Lord and Savior. Remember, Jesus loves you, and we love you, and we're praying that you have another wonderful day. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today in the Maranatha Minute. Our prayer is that you have been encouraged through the Word of God.